typically a home of this size will be somewhere between 30 and 40,000 to completely demolish, uh, bring down to raw dirt and haul everything off. So one of the questions that's been asked pretty frequently is, and this is something not just through our social media channels, but also clients that are reaching out, looking at building their dream home. One is, do we remodel the existing home? You can see behind me, there's an existing project. We're here in the East Valley in Arizona. So clients will ask, should I tear this down? Should I use part of the house? Maybe keep one wall up or a portion, do a remodel. Uh, and with the scrape a new build, what does that look like? So we're gonna talk about a few things from cost to expectations to delivery time and, and of course that pre-construction planning. So here, let's go with option one if you're to remodel. So one reason people will remodel is Again, the permit process is faster. So if you're thinking about just the project timeline, and this goes into the pre-construction design, they are gonna wanna be in the home quicker, so they wanna get through the permit process a little bit faster. And in most cases, at least for us, typically when you're doing a remodel, the permit cost of the actual submittal is gonna be a little bit less expensive. So you're gonna save a little bit on permit, you're gonna save a little bit on the design review time with the city and the municipality. And so that is one strategy, however, Keep in mind that one of the challenges of doing a remodel, it depends on how extensive it is. So if you're gonna take this house nearly down to studs, which some people will do, or maybe you keep an existing wall or a couple walls, which does happen around town, and we have been through that before, keep in mind that you're still dealing with some limitations based on if you're keeping the existing slab. And there's a lot of cost in demo because you're not just scraping the entire build, so you're actually gonna increase the cost typically with your demo portion of the home. And then you're also gonna have um, additional costs with some of the reconstruction. So that's just something to think about. So typically when clients are doing that, it doesn't really offset the permit fee cost because you're gonna spend a little bit more on the demo side. Now with timeline though, it is expedited. And, and so clients will do that. And sometimes there are some areas in town where they have to keep a portion of the home up and that's just required by the city or the HOA. Now with this one in particular, clients will ask, well, what about demo? If, as I'm factoring that in, if I want to scrape the house, start from scratch, what does that look like? So this home behind me, um, you know, this is a few thousand square feet uh, existing residence. And of course, this will vary depending on how complicated the project is for access, availability, you know, as we're trying to bring in trucks and, and, and remove all the debris. But typically a home of this size will be somewhere between 30 and 40,000 to completely demolish uh, bring down to raw dirt and haul everything off. You know, some of the bigger homes, uh, it can be upwards of 40, 50,000. And then again, you know, mass grading, you can see that we've had, this home's been existing and vacant for a while, so you can see all the weeds around. That's pretty minimal to come through and at least, you know, degrub as you're preparing the house pad. One thing that's nice for us as a builder is we're starting fresh, right? So as a customer looks at this, they may spend, let's say $40,000 to demo this existing house, but what's gonna happen is now we're starting fresh, right? We're not limited by the skeleton or bones of the remodel and the existing structure. We have new warranties that'll start because we're building entirely uh, a new foundation, a new structure, framing, weatherproofing, and of course all the interior finishes. So you're gonna have a new warranty package, right? That's covered from all the trades. One thing that's interesting is, so we, we did a project in, in Paradise Valley not too long ago. And the conversation was, do we scrape and build new? Which again, there's gonna be still some more expense overall to that, as opposed to maybe bringing it down to studs and remodeling. So we, we went through all these different scenarios and there was a little bit more of a cost to go to a scrape and new build. Our client elected to go with remodel route. However, as we took that down to studs and we were you know, demoing the house, and of course that demo number was pretty high because we're not just scraping it and coming in and you know, moving quickly, there's a lot more labor involved as we're taking apart the house piece by piece. So there's that cost and demo. However, the overall cost was cheaper, but the client, once we had finished the demo, they looked at us and said, why don't we just demolish the house? Cause it really came down to bare bones. So it's just something to think about. We did save us some concrete expense cause we we're able to use the existing slab. So that was a save for the client. So we're gonna speak specifically about this project, what our client elected to do, and what is gonna be a fun part that's actually already happening behind this existing structure. So stay tuned for the following videos.